Sacrifice is an elite term, you know, for their entry um, for this debate, and for to, to watch the, you know, the um, the CEOs who drove down their companies at the trough, um, getting their bank bonuses, even they're being bailed out by the federal government. As these as these folks are going to have been going down the tubes and incomes are declining, we know they're getting 20 percent. We know that uh, that people who've been unemployed are getting their their jobs are paying 20 percent less. The jobs they got before the you know recession, okay. When they hear let's it's time for sacrifice, they're cautious um, about you know you know is there really going to be shared sacrifice? Can we trust them? Um, to, now above all, I mean there's one there's like there's one bipartisan issue in the country. Yes, there's one bipartisan issue in the country that rich people ought to pay more to pay for the, uh, the addressing our problems and addressing the cost of government. 80% of the country favors increased taxes. Um, they are, it, there's, you know, there is no policy more popular than a, sur a millionaire surtax. Um, uh, in our poll in the Republican districts on the question of, um, uh, uh, on the Bush tax cuts expiring on the rich, um, on the 60 Republican districts, I think we had two to one almost, <clears throat> two to one favor in those districts. Um, there is a consensus, bipartisan consensus in the country that that's how we, we should go, but the Republicans are out of touch with that. So anyway, that's my, I'm sorry. I apologize for entering it that way. They are also not willing for Social Security to be part of the deal, mm -hmm. uh, which is why I think, you know, I, I think Republicans are misreading it badly. You know, this privatization has been introduced. I mean, the moderate in the, prim in the Republican field is the privatization candidate. Perry's the, it's all a Ponzi scheme candidate, you know, but He's running on privatization. You know, this is not where this is not a popular or mainstream position in the in the country. People want to address the deficit because they think the deficit is, is endangering Social Security. The reason for so the idea that you'd use Social Security, you'd pay people less uh, in Social Security in order to address the deficit is like for the voters is like insane. They are very much for a by and this gets the question of sacrifice. They are very much for a bipartisan deal on social security on its own and making changes that make it secure and they'll make changes they'll you know they'll in that context will support you know changes that could include retirement age could include a range of things but they you know they will in that context they will you know they'll they'll do it